Hey folks, Easy Rider here. Welcome to my next video. Today I'm going to teach you how to uh, correctly and easily take off the bar end weight on a 2022 Honda CBX 500. Please do not try this without watching this video first. It'll save you a whole lot of time. If that interests you, stay with me. And welcome back. Uh, it's December 14th, 2022. It's freezing cold. I'm in my garage, so the lighting's a little bit off, so sorry about that. Uh, all right, let's just get right into it. I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm going to tell you what you need to do. The first order of business is to take this screw out. I don't know why Honda decided to put a stupid-ass Phillips head in there, but I'm just... I'm, promise you it's red Loctite in there. If you try to put a screwdriver on it, you're going to uh, destroy the, the head on it. Even with the correct tools, it's going to get a little mang mangy. First thing you need to do is get some, some uh, duct tape and duct tape. There's my finger. Duct tape around this area right here on the, uh, on the grip and on this metal part. Duct tape it around because this uh, round weight right here is going to try to spin when you uh, try to take the screw out so you have to mobilize it. Best way to do it is with this duct tape that way you don't scratch up the metal. You, the other thing you could do is uh, put some cloth around it and some vice grips but you're going to gouge this metal and uh, you also need an extra set of hands. So with that in mind the tool you're going to need is an impact screwdriver kind of looks like that impact screwdriver you put the uh, if you never used one before you put the screwdriver in there and you pound that end right there with a with a mallet and the force of pounding it will twist the uh, screw and you will you'll loosen up the screw so anyway you're going to need an impact screwdriver do not try to do it with just a screwdriver all you're going to do is strip that screw and then you're going to have to drill it out so buy yourself one of these. They're fairly inexpensive at most uh, tool stores. Okay, assuming that you got the screw loose, uh, unscrew it, but do not take it all the way out. Just leave, a, I don't know, about a half inch gap there, a couple centimeters. Uh, now the correct, now inside of here, before we go too far, inside of here, there's a clip that holds the inside bar weight. There's a bar weight that's about that big. Kind of goes inside your handlebar right there. There's a clip that holds that assembly in there. To correctly get that clip out of there without mangling it, uh, they want you to bend back the grip. Good luck on that. And right about in this area here, there's a tab up here and a tab on the bottom that you use a screwdriver to disconnect that tip. It ain't going to happen, people. So what most people do is they, they just go insane trying to get that thing out of there. So here's the easy way to do it. What you're going to do is grab a sharp rag so you don't uh, you know, scratch anything. Grab a 22 millimeter wrench, put it in that gap right there, that half inch gap I talked about. And then from the bike side, take a mallet and just tap on it with the mallet and that whole assembly will pop right out. Uh, inside that assembly is uh, some rubber grommets. So after you get it about halfway out, uh, do it by hand, just pull it off gently, twisting, and uh, you'll, there's a back grommet you want to make sure that comes up. And that's it. That's the easy way to do it. Uh, you'll probably mangle that clip, and uh, I put it all back together without the clip. You really don't need it. I don't think it's going to vibrate out. And if it does, you'll notice it long before it falls out. But anyway, hope you uh, get something out of that. Please give it a like, and uh, thank you for watching.